Hello and welcome to the latest in our series of IoT Now quickfire videos. This time I'm delighted to welcome Nigel Chadwick, who, as many of you will know, is General Manager and Vice President of Connectivity at Arm. Welcome, Nigel. Hi, Jeremy. Great to be speaking with you. It's good to have you here. And I really wanted to get uh, stuck into a better understanding of the big picture for connectivity management as a whole and what is role, the role of ARM's Pelion platform in that? Sure, that's a great question. So um, the big picture, the big vision has uh, effectively been set by Masayoshi Sun, head of SoftBank, who um, said that uh, we're looking towards this uh, one trillion connected IoT devices um, by 2035. That's a big number. And um, in the connectivity management um, unit within ARM, <coughs> we've got the connect, uh, Pelion connectivity management platform that we um, are using to help build out a global federated network. And we're doing that by collaborating and working um, with mobile network operators around the world um, to provide an orchestrated layer um, of connectivity that really benefits um, not just from the MNO's um, management perspective of IoT connected devices, but also and particularly for the uh, enterprise client that is looking to scale on a global basis and um, obtain consistency of high quality connectivity services at best price. You mentioned enterprises. Where are you seeing the greatest demand for eSIMs? Is it from the enterprise community or from MNO customers? We're seeing um, uh, an increasing um, interest and demand for um, eSIM connectivity from enterprise clients. Um, and as part of that play, we're um, engaging uh, rapidly with mobile network operators to enable that. Um, very recently, uh, we announced the um, mobile network operator NOS, which is the Portuguese MNO, that is, is really looking to future-proof their uh, connectivity management capability. And by that, I mean uh, an orchestration layer that um, includes um, a SIM downloadable profile management capability around the eSIM. And that, of course, then carves a path through to iSIM eventually as well but ultimately also includes um, very efficient ways of managing. As part of Pelion 2.0, uh, which we released recently, there's automation engines in that with regards to rule-based decision-making within the platform, but importantly also a migration toolkit. Um, so effectively what we're providing is a really powerful set of tools for MNOs to manage um, their IoT connectivity, including the eSIM downloadable profile capability, but also empowering um, enterprise clients to scale and cross geographic boundaries on a global basis. Yeah, our readers will have seen uh, a report about Pelium 2 and a very interesting survey that you uh, conducted. One of the other things I wanted to understand is where do you see the greatest customer benefits of eSIMs? Is it in optimizing data rates or scaling services or something else entirely? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, so all of those things, I mean, what's happening with regards to enterprise clients is, is that they're looking to future proof and they're looking to um, go beyond um, local geographic boundaries. And, and so the connectivity play and the Pelin connectivity management play um, allows enterprise clients to effectively uh, build once and deploy anywhere. They don't have to worry about where they're manufacturing, where they're deploying afterwards, and where that asset is going to land or be used ultimately in the future. Because effectively, can, we can enable that connectivity everywhere using an, an eSIM profile, uh, an, an eSIM approach, collaborating with networks on, uh, an, uh, on a global basis. So effectively, they're getting flexibility, they're getting future-proofing, they're getting a high quality of a consistent service, and ultimately, they are benefiting as well from a cost advantage as well. So ARM is building a global federated eSIM network. Can you just tell us briefly how that operates? Sure. So we're working with um, uh, a number of uh, uh, MNOs, and that number is increasing. Um, it's on a trusted and a collaborative basis. 
Um, it effectively means that we're using one single SIM um, and that SIM can um, be enabled to download um, a network operator profile in any particular region of the world. So as we add the mobile network operators to that collection, um, we get greater geographic coverage and therefore the mobile network operator gets greater uh, network coverage. It means that they can um, provide best quality of service and coverage in their uh, localized area where they have coverage uh, for their enterprise clients, their own enterprise clients. And as those enterprise clients need further services out with that particular geographic coverage, we can add and layer those onto, on, onto the service offering as well. So it creates a quality of service and a consistency and a best cost advantage for both the network operator that is looking to manage the eSIM capability as well as the end user, the enterprise clients. That's really interesting. Nigel, I always learn stuff when we have a chat. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, Jeremy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time as well. We very much look forward to seeing you for the next in our series of IoT Now quickfire videos. But until then, bye.